Hey guys, Mr. MS here. This is Chaga Mushroom, and I'm going to show you what I do to make a Chaga tea. Alright, so I'm going to weigh it using my gram scale, just so I know how much I'm using to make my tea with. It says 24 grams, so that should be well, that should be plenty for a tea. I'm probably only going to use well, one liter of water for 24 grams of chaga. I'm going to take this piece of chaga and wrap it up in this old dish cloth. I would suggest using an older one if you don't want to ruin a new cloth because it it's pretty rough on them, but I wrap it in the dishcloth and then take the chaga and beat it with a hammer into a powder and then I'll uh, t put it in a coffee grinder and grind it up into a powder, uh, a finer powder. But let's go do that right now. I'll take that and, and beat it with a hammer so I can crush it up some. One thing you want to watch out for when you're doing this is that you keep your fingers away because you, well, I've almost done it a few times so that you hit your fingers with the hammer. It's not, <laughs> it's not very fun and you got to put quite a bit of force into this because the chaga mushroom is hard as a rock. Open it up and see see how it did. It's still pretty chunky, so I'm gonna wrap it up again and hit it a few more times. see some falling out so I'm going to stop doing that. Okay so after I get it crushed up with the hammer I put it in my coffee grinder here. And I'll use this to grind it up into a finer powder. A magic bullet or something like that might be a bit better to use than a coffee grinder because you see in one sec here that it's pretty loud and it's pretty, well, it must be pretty hard on the grinder. Coffee grinder. Coffee grinder.
dust it makes. And it's basically just a powder now, so there's a couple chunks in there, but this this coffee grinder worked pretty good. Now I'm gonna take that and put it into water and make a tea with it. Well, let's go do that now. Okay guys, so I put 15 grams of the chaga powder in with a liter of Big 8 water. I don't use tap water because of the chemicals that they use to treat it. So I use just uh, bottled water. I uh, brought it up to a boil and I'll bring it, it's coming down to a simmer now and I'm going to let it simmer for roughly two hours before I try it out. So every so often when you're cooking this, you'll see, you'll see it stuck up on the sides a little bit so I, I usually just give it a bit of a stir to make sure it's all getting cooked to the same amount. This has been cooking for roughly two hours now. It's suggested to cook it for three hours, but I cooked it for two. Let's go ahead and strain it. I put cheesecloth in this strainer to catch some of the solids. Let's go ahead and give it a try here. Now, I don't really like the flavor. Maybe you guys can suggest something to put in it to make it taste better. Sugar or honey or some type of sweetener of some sort. But anyways guys, that's everything for this video. Be sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned for more MS Adventures. See you in the next one.